from red coats to red hats. The 2022 election will most likely be one of the most important elections of our lives. It will determine if the American experiment of democracy lives or dies. Michelle Obama said, we've got to vote like the future of our democracy depends upon it because our voting rights are under attack. Mitch McConnell doesn't believe African-American voters are Americans. Here's what he had to say. <clears throat> African-American voters are voting in just as high a percentage as Americans. I had a conversation with Pennsylvania State Senator Anthony Williams about why the 2022 election is critical. This could determine if we have democracy or dictatorship. I asked, what do you think would happen if the Republicans take power in 2022? That is a um, scary proposition. Based upon the new Republican Party, this new Republican Party is now debating who's an American and who's not. Uh, and this new Republican Party is now defining certain Americans are more valued than other Americans. This Republican Party is very, very, very much um, designed and not even going backwards. People would say this is going backwards. This is something that harkens back to any authoritarian government, uh, dictatorship, if you will, that has been the demise of every country in the world. That's where we are headed if this new Republican Party gets to take over. I asked Senator Williams what he thought would happen regarding our voting rights and the right to have our vote counted if the next Pennsylvania governor was a Republican. <laughs> Clearly, the consequence of that would be that significant portions of Pennsylvania would not have the opportunity to vote. And the consequence of that is that you would have a a, the optics of a democratically elected governor and general assembly. What about this, this, this idea that like, if they get their way, they can audit votes and say, oh, we don't like <clears throat> the, the yeah. way this went. We want it to go our way. So that's we're called a rigged election. That's yeah. called a rigged election. I mean, that's what your children do when they don't get their way. They have a temper tantrum. They scream and they shout until you say, okay, I'll give you what you want. That has nothing to do with the history of this country. I mean, literally, the history of this country, as far back as its creation, we've never done that. Democrat, Republican, whatever party was created, this would be a first time in this nation's history that we are actually turning our back on what we created as a nation. Since Biden has been president, economic policies have been enacted that helped, like you said, working families that have benefited from these economic policies and they're they're not giving the money they got from the government back but they're claiming to be cultural warriors and they're going to vote against things like teaching critical race theory in the schools and they just bring these things up um what do you think can be done to get these cultural warriors to see that the country is at stake in the upcoming elections some of those people you'll never get um, because, you know, they're closet bigots. They, oh, no, I, no, I don't have, no, yeah, you are. And so I, you're not going to get them back. So I think, you know, and, and ironically enough, talking about democracy doesn't seem to be resonating with people in the way that you would hope it, and, and think it to be. What would you say to citizens if they asked, why should they go and vote? The house is on fire. You just don't know it. It's smoldering in the basement. The smoke is kind of coming up and percolating. But as in most fires, it won't be the fire that gets you, it will be the smoke that kills you. And um, the, if the foundation of a democracy is at risk, you can be sure the foundation of our liberty as black people in this country is at risk or at peril. And so this is a smoldering fire that is a crisis that people just don't feel the heat yet. 
Um, and unfortunately, sometimes when people don't feel the heat till something actually happens. And then when something happens and people want to react, we don't have the, the luxury to wait till something happens actually happens. We have to actually do something now. We'll call them the new Republican Party. They're running around claiming they're the patriots, you know, trying to bully people into believing what they believe. They're even saying that, I've seen it, you know, when can we start shooting people who don't agree with us? I believe they will do it. They're not patriots. They're acting against the, the what's in the Constitution and Declaration of Independence to doing the opposite. Right. So how how what can Democrats do to get people to see? Look, these people are a real danger to our country. I'm not sure that what you just said, you know, about people shooting one another. I'm not quite sure that people quite get. There's a desire for an element within that party to literally have a civil war. And they're not, they're not shy about it anymore. They're like organizing to get to that end. You know, um, I truly believe that the insurrection on January the 6th was that. We saw the first attempt to attack government. Now, if the large majority, even those folks who are affiliated, don't want to go to the end that they saw on January 6th. So we have to keep pushing to make sure even people in that crowd know this is who you're hanging with. This is their end game. And if you're not aligned with it, you can be in the building and guess what? They will take you out back and shoot you in the head too because you're not okay with what they're saying. Do you have any um, uh, final thoughts for our viewers regarding the 2022 election? Vote, 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 vote. And look, look most of us talk to voters. We got to talk to non-voters, but it only gets better by your participation, not lack thereof. So for anyone who is on here or listening, I'm not talking really to you because you're going to be engaged. I'm talking to those people who say they're not engaged and they complain about it and don't realize their complaint only gives, gives license to those people who want to make it worse for you because they are going to vote because they know that they, if they vote, they can take over and control the process. So you have to vote and then keep complaining about it getting better. There's a significant portion of America which is now called themselves independents. And most elections depend upon them. And so I, I do speak a lot to them about the pragmatic part of getting things done. But certainly those who are violent and attacking the constitution and wrapping themselves in a flag are reprehensible and hypocritical and disingenuous and dishonest about their value structure because it's not American. It's nothing that we've ever seen before. And we need, to, we need to push back and fight against that strongly. This is Connie Com for Philly Cam Voices.